Hello today's video we have the following content. Bruce Lee's posthumous affairs, the Coffin leaked liquid when the buddy was transported, his wife Meriden divorced twice, and now lives with his daughter. On July 20, 1973, the 32-year-old Kung Fu superstar Bruce Lee suddenly passed away in the bed of porn star Ding Pei. The death of the young Bruce Lee was already a hot news, and his death in such an ambiguous way was he even more heavyweight news. In less than 24 hours, the news quickly spread around the world, shocking countless fans and martial arts enthusiasts. Bruce Lee's wife Linda was at home when she received the news. She rushed to Queen Elizabeth Hospital, but her husband had already died. Bruce Lee's true cause of death has left countless speculations, but in any case, his departure has caused great harm to fans and family. Especially his wife Linda, who had to bear the pain of losing her husband while facing the surging pressure of public opinion. Linda was in charge of Bruce Lee's funeral, and some minor but shocking accidents occurred during the process. The death of a superstar. On July 20, 1973, in Hong Kong, the quiet night was suddenly broken by a hurried phone call. Linda Emery answered the phone, and the voice on the other end was her husband's friend, who sounded nervous and hurried, Linda, can you rush to Queen Elizabeth Hospital right away? Bruce Lee is on his way there, he is in the ambulance now. Linda's heart tightened, and she didn't even have time to change her clothes. She hurriedly put on her coat and ran out. She rushed to the hospital in a panic, but was told that her husband Bruce Lee had passed away. Linda slumped on a bench in the hospital, her eyes blurred. Bruce Lee's influence around the world is obvious to all. He has won the love of countless fans with his unique martial arts style and film works. In the minds of foreigners, it is not an exaggeration to say that Bruce Lee represents the mysterious Chinese Kung Fu. Many fanatical fans even regard him as a belief. However, such a world-famous international superstar died suddenly at the age of 32, at the peak of his career. What's even more disgusting is that he died in the bed of a porn star. Bruce Lee's original name was Lee's Henfen. He was born in San Francisco, USA in 1940. As a Chinese-American, he loved Chinese martial arts since he was a child. When he was three months old, he played a baby role in the movie Golden Gate Girl. Although he didn't need any acting skills, it also opened up his indissoluble bond with film and television and Kung Fu. At the age of six, Bruce Lee returned to Hong Kong with his family and officially began his acting career. As a teenager, Bruce Lee had already made his mark in many movies, especially the orphan role in Little Chung, which won countless praises from domestic and foreign audiences. This also made him determined to pursue a career in film and television in the future. Bruce Lee's martial arts moves in the movie were chicken smooth, and were deeply loved by the audience. In order to improve his martial arts skills, Bruce Lee worshipped Wing Chun master Ip Man as his teacher and began to systematically learn Wing Chun. Ip Man was a police officer in Hong Kong. He summed up a set of practical self-defense techniques in practice and taught them to Bruce Lee. In the process of learning, Bruce Lee continued to explore and innovate, and finally created Jeet Kune Do. This martial art not only emphasizes attack speed and efficiency, but also focuses on practical application, making Bruce Lee's martial arts movements in film and television works more realistic and shocking. As Bruce Lee's reputation in the film and television industry became increasingly loud, his fans and fans spread all over the world, making him one of the most influential Chinese in the world at that time. Later, he began to plan to open his own martial arts hall to teach Jeet Kune Do. Although his image in the movie is deeply rooted in the hearts of the people, Bruce Lee in real life has not completely gotten rid of the influence of the role. There is an essential difference between the martial arts scenes in the movie and the martial arts training in reality, but Bruce Lee always finds it difficult to distinguish the boundaries between the two. Just when Bruce Lee's career was booming, fate played a joke on him. After life. In 1973, when he was discussing a new script with actress Ding Pei in Hong Kong, he suddenly felt unwell and then fell on Ding Pei's bed. Ding Pei panicked and immediately contacted the director and ambulance to send Bruce Lee to the hospital. However, it was too late. Bruce Lee stopped breathing on the way to the hospital. When his wife Linda received the notice from the hospital, her heart was broken. She could not accept this fact. Recalling every moment spent with Bruce Lee, those sweet times and common dreams have now turned into nothingness. Regarding Bruce Lee's death, Major media around the world rushed to follow up and report, and there were many different opinions on his cause of death. Some people said that he died of drug allergy, and some people suspected that it was because of long-term high-intensity training that caused excessive fatigue of the body. 
There is also a saying that it is speculated that he was not discussing the script with the porn star Ding Pei, but did something improper, and died suddenly under the stimulation. Of course, this statement is too disrespectful to the deceased, and there is no evidence to prove it. In addition, Bruce Lee's wife Linda came out to speak, and gradually let this rumor dissipate. Later, the official autopsy report showed that Bruce Lee died of cerebral edema, but the specific cause was unknown. Bruce Lee's mother, Hiao, and his brother, Lee Shenhu, learned the bad news from the TV news. Lee Shenhu called Linda to confirm the news immediately. When Linda confirmed it with tears in her eyes, Hiao fainted on the spot and woke up after rescue. The entire Lee family fell into deep grief and could not accept this sudden blow. Four days after Bruce Lee's death, Hong Kong set up a temporary mourning hall for him. Linda placed a wreath in front of the portrait, which read, Xia Long loves his husband, and the fate continues in the next life. Wife Linda weeps and offers. These arrangements follow the traditional customs of the Chinese people, and Linda also knows that this is exactly what her beloved husband wants. Fans and friends went to the temporary mourning hall to pay their respects and see Bruce Lee's body, he was wearing a Tang suit and lying peacefully in the copper coffin. Linda, with her son Brandon Lee and daughter Shannon Lee, bowed to thank everyone who came to pay their respects. No rest in peace. On the morning of July 25, 1973, Bruce Lee's body was transported from the Kowloon Funeral Home to be sent to Seattle, USA for burial. Linda stood at the door of the funeral home, watching the copper coffin containing her husband's body being carried onto the plane, with mixed feelings in her heart. She held her children's hands tightly, tears welling up in her eyes. After the plane took off, Linda let the children rest in their seats, and she leaned back in the chair, closed her eyes, and her mind kept emerging with bits and pieces of her time with Bruce Lee. A few hours later, the plane suddenly bumped violently during the flight. Linda suddenly opened her eyes and saw the passengers holding the handrails tightly, their faces full of anxiety. The flight attendants hurriedly shuttled in the cabin, trying to calm everyone's emotions. Just then, a staff member walked up to Linda and whispered, Mom, there seems to be some problems with the coffin, and you may need to deal with it. Linda's breath was choked, she quickly stood up, and followed the staff to the cargo hold. The moment the cargo door was opened, a pungent smell hit her face. Linda saw that her husband's copper coffin had cracks in the violent turbulence, and light yellow liquid was seeping out of the gap and dripping on the floor. She held back her tears, squatted down and checked carefully, confirming that it was a leak of preservative liquid. Bruce Lee was Chinese after all. Influenced by her husband, Linda has always liked Chinese culture and has some understanding of Chinese funeral culture. She felt that her husband did not rest in peace, so he was angry, causing the coffin to leak liquid. Thinking of this, Linda squatted down and cried out loud, unable to calm down for a long time. We must deal with it as soon as possible, otherwise it will affect the preservation of the body. The staff couldn't bear to disturb Linda who was immersed in grief, but had to remind her out loud. Linda nodded and made a decision while holding back her grief, after landing in Seattle, change a coffin immediately. Please contact the nearest coffin tomb in Seattle. She quickly arranged for the staff to prepare a new coffin at Seattle airport, while comforting herself and trying to keep her emotions stable. A few hours later, the plane finally landed at Seattle airport. Linda dragged her tired body off the plane and saw a black hearse waiting on the tarmac. The airport staff quickly moved the damaged coffin to the car, and Linda followed closely with the children. At the funeral home, Linda watched the staff carefully transfer Bruce Lee's body to the new coffin, and her heart was slightly relieved. His son Brandon Lee stood aside, holding his mother's hand, and whispered, Mom, when can Dad rest in peace? Linda gently stroked her son's head and whispered, Soon. After the coffin was changed, Bruce Lee's body was placed on the hearse again and transported to Butterworth Funeral Home in Seattle. Here he will hold a second funeral. This funeral was conducted in full accordance with Western etiquette, and the scene was solemn and the atmosphere was heavy. After the funeral, Bruce Lee's coffin was buried in a cemetery by the Seattle Lake. Linda looked at her husband's name engraved on the tombstone, and her heart was filled with mixed feelings. Rainbows and rainbows. After the funeral, Linda brought her son Brandon Lee and daughter Shannon Lee here and stood quietly in front of her husband's grave. Brandon Lee held his mother's hand tightly, while Shannon Lee threw herself into her mother's arms and sobbed softly. Linda stroked her daughter's back, an endless sadness surged in her heart, but she knew that she had to be strong to support the family. Days passed, and Linda took on the responsibility of taking care of the children alone. In 1988, 
Linda and Bruce Lee's apprentice, writer Tom Brick, officially became husband and wife. Tom cared deeply for Linda's family, and this concern gradually touched Linda, and the two finally got together. However, not long after the marriage, Linda discovered Tom's true purpose. He had been asking her about Bruce Lee's private affairs, and finally published a book despite opposition, which contained many true and false rumors. Linda was very angry, and in 1990, Linda chose to divorce Tom. Not long after, Linda remarried her former classmate Bruce. Bruce truly loved Linda. He took care of her meticulously and treated her two children as his own. However, the longer they lived together, the more Bruce realized that there was no place for him in Linda's heart. She could never forget Bruce Lee. Later, Bruce withdrew from the marriage decently. Although Linda felt sorry, she was also grateful for his support and understanding. Later, Linda never looked for anyone else, but chose to live alone with her children. But in 1993, fate struck Linda again. Her son Brandon Lee died when a prop gun accidentally went off while filming a movie in the United States. This bad news was like a bolt from the blue, and Linda almost collapsed. She fell into depression for a long time, and her life became extremely gloomy. Shannon Lee became Linda's pillar. She accompanied her mother every day, helping her mother out of the haze with warm words and careful care. Mom, we have to be strong. Dad and brother are watching us in heaven. They want us to be happy. Linda hugged her daughter tightly with tears streaming down her face. She knew she had to cheer up. For Bruce Lee's last wish and for her daughter who was still by her side, she had to keep moving forward. Conclusion. Now Linda is nearly 80 years old, and she still lives in Seattle. She often goes to the lake with her daughter Shannon Lee, sits in front of Bruce Lee's tomb, and whispers about the little things in life. Although the years have taken away her youth and lover, the memories and family affection left behind still warm her heart. After the storm, Linda and her daughter Shannon Lee depend on each other, and only have each other. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,